Boots back in the long drive. We're homeward bound, as always, per still. <laughs> okay, so I don't know entirely what's going on, but I do have a gold bar, and that's always... Does someone mention this bus sticking straight up out of the ground? That was pretty funny. I like that. So what we're going to do is drive 50 kilometers as per the huge, and we're also going to look for... So much going on here. This is uh, gas and oil. That's no good. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to do... So oh, yeah. We're going to check to make sure all of our people are on board here. So, we got one road lotion. Count it. One coily. Count it. We have one Karen. Pick, why can't I pick up my Karen? Like, there's one Karen. There's the other Karen. Okay. So, we're missing one Loggington. I think. Let me just double check this. Yeah, Loggington appears to be missing. So we're going to have to go find a new... Lo Wait a minute. Loggington! What are you doing over here? Buddy! Come on, man! I got rid of the rear seat for you, so you have lots of space to hang out with Karen. Okay, so we also need some brushes, some shine, things like that. But otherwise, and people have been bugging me to put this on the car as a bumper. Uh, I might put it on the back. Because uh, it might add good lighting in the rear. Because a lot of times when I pulled up to somewhere I can't see. There we go. So I'm, <laughs> I might do that. And then, you know, I'm going to bring this bumper with me, though, just in case. <sighs> Won't ever go back to stuff. <sighs> okay. Let's see here. Okay, just uh, look out, Karen. Watch your face. All right, let's get in there. Let's put this in here just because you might need that someday. I don't do fear the rabbits here because there's a rabbit over there. I should be a fear. Never mind. So hopefully this thing isn't banging like crazy Um, because it does do that. So let's see. Where are we? We are at 6.4 kilometers on this. So we got to go to 56.4 or more uh, to, to, yes, do the thing. So, okay. Get this on the outside here. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. So we're just gonna just slide down this hill here. We'll see if the, uh, the, the banging's gone away. Oh, it may have. It may have. Ha 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 ha. The people were right. Reloading the game helped. Physics collisions suck. Okay. So 56.4 kilometers. We have to make it to at a minimum. Oh, God. The v I have PTSD from driving this thing from before. The bouncing. The bouncing and the hanging. Look at this thing. It just, my goodness, is so much, so much bouncing. It's okay, though. I re you know, I remember this part of the... Oh, God, there's rabbits. Rabbits, get off the road! <laughs> get off the road! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Is it, is it dead? Oh. It's yelling in pain over its buddy being killed. See, this is why I don't like this. Okay, so... Let's see, uh, this is why I stopped driving this initially, because of the bounce. That bounce, it just bottoms out constantly. Look at that, just bottoms out constantly. That's why I stopped driving this a while ago. Okay, we're going to give it a shot, because I do like the station wagons quite a bit. Look at this. Bang, look, look at that. Oh, it's so bad, especially when you get off the side of the road and it catches and the whole car flips. So we need to find some uh, brushes today because we need to polish everything up because this thing is a basically a rusted out, clapped out piece of crap. But that's not so bad. Like, it's pretty easy. Um, I think we should be all right. We got lots of gas. The oil level is fine. I checked it all before I started recording. We should be good for a quick episode of... Uh, the long drive homeward bounce, so happy birthday to Blorp. Uh, it was his birthday. Uh, I didn't have a chance to do a video on it, and honestly, uh, see, look at that. Whoa, whoa, okay. It was his birthday. <laughs> We're wishing him happy birthday. Okay, this is fine. This is okay. This is good. So, happy birthday to Blorp. His birthday just went by. Sorry about the, uh, the intense messaging there. This is what I'm talking about, man. This thing just, just bounces off the ground. It gets hooked, and then it flips. And it, it sucks sometimes. All right, so we got to be a little bit careful with this. I bet you it's fine at moderate speeds and not full tilt is part of the problem. Because it just just, just bounces so, so much. But that's okay. We're going to figure it out, and we're going to try to drive it without getting killed too much. 
Uh, which is likely to happen anyway. Maybe we should just lessen the weight. But I feel like this thing, what I think it is, is that, you know, I, I might be wrong here, but I think the developer built the car on the old, on the lot of four-door version without the, the, uh, the stage wagon variant. And when he did that, he never compensated the suspension for the extra weight. Because it is brutal back there. Like, look at that. Like, even little bumps make it hit the ground. I do love the station wagon, though. It's the coolest looking car here. Oh, jeez. Okay, just be careful. We don't want to die and go flipping down a cliff. Okay, okay. Don't want to flip down cliffs. Cliffs are bad. Okay, you were still rolling down hills upside down. That's when people die. And so far, we've done a good job not dying. And that's kind of my plan at this point. Uh, you know, new year, new scapegoat, new drive, you know? It's got to get to the end of the... Oh, God. Cheese and crackers. Okay, okay. So, also, somebody told me in the comments, apparently I can confiscate the UFO. Oh, uh, that might be in the cards. I can, apparently you can drive it. I'm not sure I believe that, but it'd be worth a shot. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Uh, oh, yeah, there we are. Yeah. Anything on the side of the road, it's going to do that flipping out thing, so... We need to be ready for that. I'm not sure the uh, station wagon is the way to go. <laughs> now that I'm driving it and I forgot all about the bounciness. Look at that, eh? It's just so bad. Now I can strip the rear bumper off completely and see if that helps with the weight. Get rid of the, some of the junk in the back. I don't need like that bumper. Like it bottoms out even just on light corners. Like it is just brutally bad. Yeah, it's just awful. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's no high speed traversing the desert in this car. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. The developer really needs to fix this car. Oh, God. Oh, goodness sakes. Oh, goodness sakes. This is so bad. Oh, oh. It doesn't handle the best either. It's, it handles all right, but like, it's very drifty, very slidey, you know? But I don't know, maybe we'll swap it up for a Dasha. We had good luck in the Dasha before. Oh God! Don't know what happened there. Just get her in reverse and snap it around. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> okay, it was still going backwards for some reason. What was that? Was that a, was that a rabbit? This game just has me, I feel like a freaking complex when I play this game, jeez. There we go, why can't it just be a nice flat road? You know, that way, move, ignore the bumps for the stage wagon. But no, here I am, in bump country. That's a, oh God. Sounds like a name for a place that sells cocaine, bump country. Oh no, see what I mean? It just spins out, just all on its own. Okay, over rev it in reverse a little bit, there we go, come on. Like it just spins out so easily. And it just, it just, the road just hooks in. There we go. This is good. This is okay. Okay, no, that's not. It's terrible. It's just going to keep spinning out until I end up dead. Yep, there it is. See? Anything off the side of the road and she spins. Perfect. Okay, what do we got coming up here? Garage. Maybe the station wagon is not the way to go. <laughs> Now the Trabant station wagon, and that could be, this is a problem. This place is a problem. Holy God, look at the frame rate. Okay, frame rates and rabbits. Okay, what's, there's something on the roof up there. What is that? Oh, it's an arm. Okay, let's get inside the car for a sec here. Okay, let's, look, we can't sleep yet. Uh, looks like, oh, looks like that's ticking down. They're right. That is a meter to when I can sleep again. Interesting. Okay. Now, I need to go see what's going on in this garage that's causing all this lag. Um, uh, what's sticking through the door? What the hell is that? Uh, okay. Is that a rabbit? What is that? Oh yeah, that's a rabbit, all right. Oh God, that's really disturbing. Look at all this junk. 
Like, none of this I need either. So I'm going to get out of here. Okay, this creeps me out, man. There's a dead rabbit here already? Like, what, who did that? So it's got to get away from this. Uh, thing. I think we're going to need uh, a better car, though. This one, every time it hits a bump now, it's spinning out. That's no good. We can't have that. Come on, frame rate. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, frame rate. Good work. You know what? Sometimes things just work out. We don't want to be in the place with zero frame rates. And it's what's the crappy part about that. Oh, God. <laughs> the crappy part about that is... That's the drop camera, by the way. Um, is that the big garages have all the good stuff. But if they're all that slowed down, I don't want to go there for fear I might crash the game. Okay, I'm going to try something here. And I know it's going to make a lot of people unhappy, but we're going to give this a shot here. Let me see. Okay. It doesn't want to stop, but that's okay. It's just, just do your thing. Uh, get out the way and let Casper drive. All right, let's go. Okay. We're going to take this off. Get rid of that. Open this up. Take you out. Get rid of that. All right, we're going to see if we just take the weight off the rear if it makes any difference whatsoever. All right. Okay, we're going. I think we have to do something about these tires, too. I'm not sure the tires are great. Now, I'm sure it's still going to bounce a lot. Yeah, it's still, I don't think I made it a whole lot better, to be honest. Like, it's just so bad. <laughs> like, it's just... Any deviation in the road, this thing's banging off of it. And if you look at where the weight is in the car, most of the weight is... is, is like, there it goes. Okay, yeah, we're just losing control completely here. All right, there's another rock right there. All right, yeah, we're going to have to switch cars. This one's driving me insane. <laughs> this is insanity. Okay, we're just going to go this way. But I think we'll wait to the next. You know what? I've always wanted to uh, take the Trabant. But the oil-gas mixture sucks. Like, it just the whole idea of it sucks. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so bad. Look at it. How did I drive this for like 900 kilometers the first time I drove it? Without killing myself constantly. That's like ridiculous. I'm way better at this game than I thought, or I've gotten worse over time because I'm struggling with this right now. And it sucks too because it's my favorite car. Ugh. You know what? The Trabant would be fun. Although, like I said, the oil-gas mixture thing sucks. I think it's 3%, I think it is. I think, I don't remember. I think it's 3% mixture. It's been a while. We hop on a moped. We could bring all the Karens and stuff on the moped. Unless we can attach a wagon to the moped. Ugh. Come on. I feel like it's gonna be one of those episodes that takes a really long time for no reason. Like, it's just going to be, like, a lot of hills and a lot of spinning out. Because, really, I went, like, I'm only gone, like, 16, 17 kilometers total. It feels like a lot longer than that. But, hey, what do I know? But, yeah, like, I love the car, but I just don't think it's a viable solution at the moment. Not with the way uh, it drives. It's, like, these downhill sections with these cliffs on the side, this is a dangerous game to play. And it's so heavy. Like, it doesn't... Like, I have brakes on right now. Like, the parking brake is on full, and it's not even slowing down. <laughs> it's just chewing up the tires. Do your thing, bud. Oh, this is great. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Well, it's not bouncing too much right now, but, you know, the second I hit, there it is. <laughs> the second I hit any bump. That's okay, though. You know what? You want a little challenge sometimes. It's just, you see this big cliff on my left? I don't want to fly down in, into the pit of despair. You know, get eaten by the nothing. What is this? The never-ending never story? What is this? Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, this is going to be a terrible spot. I swear I stopped here one time. 
on my way down for some reason, and I don't remember what it was. That's okay, though. We got a whole open road ahead of us and lots of kilometers to cover still, so we're going to do that and get this done. Because because that's, because, because that's what we do. That's what men do. We drive places and discover things. That's what we're good at. Remember that, boys. That's, that's off the cliff. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa. Okay. This is, you know what this reminds me, though? Like, when early on, when Jacob Bomarito started watching, he was like, all you ever do is spin out, like, ten times an episode. And he wasn't wrong, but it's because of this car. The car is just terrible. Beautiful, but terrible. I feel like this is a really steep hill coming up here. <laughs> Hopefully we got the, the gumption to get up this. This engine is exactly the most uh, torquey thing in the world. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, who knew this thing could climb 45 degree angle? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this is not... We're, we're slowing down. That's not so bad. <laughs> it's not, this is not the worst. I feel sorry for you guys that watch every episode start to finish. Because this has got to be the worst. Watching this happen this at this speed. Oh my god. And sometimes you think the hill's ending, you're like, oh, it's at the top, and then it just kind of dips for a moment and then starts going up again, and it's pretty insane. Look at that. Look at that. Cresting the hill. Are we speeding up, Eddie? Oh, we're getting some speed back. There we go. Come on, baby! Yeah, you know it, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. I don't have time for this crap. We got red. What's going on here? Why can't I see my, Where am I? Oh, God, I'm beautiful. There I am. Oh, look, I have a pig nose. What's going on there? All right, cool. Why, is, why was the back seat red, though? I don't... Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, this car definitely is fine at lower speeds. It's just when you get over, like, about 100, it starts to really bang on the ground. It's definitely a low-speed cruiser. If you cruised at about 80, you'd be fine. I think that would actually be kind of exciting. 80 kilometers an hour, all set up. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're coming into whatever this is. I'm going to call this Montana. We're coming into Montana. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, oh, geez. Uh, okay, this is a big rock right here. That's not good. All right, there we are. The sun's coming up. Oh, we got a little gas station or something here. What is this? Okay, just stop the car. Stop it. Stop. See, these are going to be my lifeblood now. I'm going to need these. All right, put this on. Ignition off. Can I do the car for a sec? Stretch the old uh, the legaroos here. Put uh, put some of this here gasoline in the tank. There we go. Now we're down a bit, but we're fine. It's because I didn't make a lot of stops in the one episode. I just burned through some. I just chewed through some fuel. Nice game crash. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the game crashes more often now, too, I've noticed. Since I, uh... Since uh, I've gotten to the end of the game and back. What's this? That's oil. You know, I might need that, actually. I'm gonna put this in. Yeah, so it's not, it's not a big problem, because when it does crash... Oh, oh, God, don't drink that. When it does crash, it does save the game. Like, it goes autosave and then crashes. But uh, it does suck that it crashes, I'll tell you that. Oh, I almost want to take this. Do you know what would be awesome? I'd have to leave all the Karens behind. Probably Coily. But if we could get a bike and a Trabant engine. And do that for a little while. Like, that's got to be fun, right? So where was I going? Oh, okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Uh, 54.6. So we're about halfway through this, roughly. The odometer. The speedometer is always literally over the part of the odometer you need to read. Yeah, so, like, we're just about halfway done. It's not so bad. You know, I might try for that, actually. Um, the bike with the Trabant engine. That could be fun for a couple episodes. I think that'd be a riot for a couple episodes. It's finding a bike, though, and then finding a Trabant. 
So the next time we find a Trabant, we should look for uh, a bike around the area and see if we can't make that work. Because I believe the, I believe it uses... Uh, the Trabant engine doesn't need a radiator, if I remember correctly, which is exactly what we want, right? Excellent. So we'll look for that. We'll try to, we'll try to do that, the Trabant um, bike. And hopefully we don't get the problem I had before, where, where the bike would... Uh, Oh, jeez, this is going to crash. Oh, oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, so I hope we don't get the problem. Of what is going on here? Why is it going backwards when I'm not going backwards? Okay, there we go. So I hope we don't get the problem we had before where it auto-saves when riding the bike. Ugh. There we go. It's in rabbit country. We don't want to get stuck out here. This this today this has been nothing but a bunch of problems, and I'm telling you, I don't want this to happen this way. <laughs> but sometimes that's the way it goes. It's just the way it is. So, oh jeez, could you imagine flipping off of here? Man, I'm pretty sure somewhere around here you're gonna find a um broom. Because I remember on a spot kind of like this, I left my broom behind and I couldn't find it. It was and literally as I was driving, I saw it laying on the road. So if nothing disappears, it's probably still laying on the road somewhere. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a big ass rock right here. We don't want that. Ooh. Look at that. That's a beautiful view though, isn't it? But it's somewhere that looks just like this, where there's one big cliff on one side. I know I left a broom there. I remember when I edited the video, I could see it going, oh shit, I can't believe I missed that. But from my point of view, it was hard to see because, you know, you're moving around in the video, you can pause, right? So it's a whole different thing. Yeah, I like the idea of the Tremont on the bike, though. I think that'd be kind of a... I bet you if we could do about 80 with it, that'd be sufficient to do episodes with. I think that'd be a riot. Although, getting on it quickly to escape the rabbits could be a problem. <laughs> And using it as a shield, but shield, because sometimes I use my car as a barricade between me and the rabbits. Which would suck. Oh, we got a little bunker coming up here. A bunker, a bunkerino, a bunkeroo. I'm surprised there's no trucks in the game, to be honest. I'm just surprised it didn't add some sort of, like, delivery truck or something like that. Oh, the bunker just disappeared into the train. <laughs> Bunker, where'd you go, bud? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, is this a dead rabbit or a live rabbit? That is a dead rabbit. That car is just going about its it's escaping! The car is escaping! Where you go, bud? You uh you got some place to be. See ya see ya! That's, look, another dead rabbit. Look at this. I was killing rabbits all over the place today. Or this day, whatever day that was. You know, somewhere, too, out in the desert, on this side of the road, away, it's going to be a ways this way, was the day I lost my car to the wall. If anybody remembers when I got my Dasha stuck in the wall and I had to take the bike for an episode, um, I, I ended up cobbling together a car. And then uh, and after I cobbled that car together in the same episode, I found a brand new Dasha and it was fine. So I just swapped out cars. But there's this cobbled together Skoda, I think it is, in the desert somewhere with mismatched body panels and wrong doors on it with a uh, two-stroke Trabant engine in it. Uh, just out in the desert somewhere that I abandoned when I switched cars. That car was pretty awesome. I love that. That car was hilarious. Oh, it's good times, that car. <laughs> it got me where I needed to go. It saved my life. That was what I was concerned about. That is definitely what I was concerned about. Now, the thing about the bike is it only holds like four liters of fuel, five liters of fuel. So, and carrying spare fuel would be, is hard because that basket just doesn't carry much. So, like, I might be able to just cram coily in the basket, maybe road lotion, but Karen, there's no way. I've had these Karens for a particularly long time. I kept blowing them up for a while, but if bitch have had them for a good 500 kilometers, now 1,000 kilometers. I kept blowing them up by accident uh, when I was blowing up other things. It became an issue. Um, was not proud of it. Uh, 
Totally not, not, not one of my proudest moments. Ow. Okay, just going this way now. There we go. This is good. This is good. So far, not spinning out for about three minutes is great. Can't tell how far I've gone because the thing is always in the way. I think it says 37. I think. <laughs> That's fine. I hate that. The stick is always in the way of the one number. Yeah, but out there, you know, there's a whole myriad of things I've left laying around that'd be cool to find, but good luck. Oh, sorry, I'm a little hiccup right now. I had pizza for dinner? My goodness. I'm feeling a bit gassy now, you know? Got the, got the hiccups and the burps. It's that soda pop I was drinking with it. Yeah, sorry about the crashes, but they're going to happen once in a while. Like I said, lucky... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine, we got it, we got this. Yeah, sorry the game crashes once in a while, but at least it saves my progress and it's not a problem. Because <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> like, I don't mind as long as it's... Karen's hanging up for dear life under the seat up front. They're like, oh, God. What are you doing? Stop driving like a... Man. Don't you backseat drive me, Karen. Okay, I'm going to put this parking brake on here, even though it doesn't seem to do much. Other than slow down my steering. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Also, like, there's got to be several brooms strewn around, because everyone I've ever found has fallen out of the car at some point. So, they're out here somewhere. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This parking brake on to slow, slow down the progress a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it does not like the side of the road. If you drop a wheel, it gets caught and it flips. Especially under braking. There we go. Come on, baby. I still think that guy who told me about this uh, parking brake to brake straight business. That guy's a genius, man. Okay, just gotta get turned in here. Okay, it really bites in the turn. There we go. Stay on the road. Okay. It's not so bad if you stay on the road, but you go off the sides of the road with this thing and it flips all over the place like a crazy person. Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever seen any crazy people flipping on the side of the road, but you never know. Being crazy has its benefits, I'm sure. Don't bleed off all your speed. Come on, bud. So, yeah, you know what? I tried calling the Olive Garden. I'll tell you right now. They didn't even answer the phone. You know, I think they're up against me now. I really do. I think there's something they're out to get me, and they ruined my, my trip to my mom's because they're supposed to be Olive Garden... And then they got rid of it. So if there's not an Olive Garden at the beginning of this where I used to live, I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to lose it so hard. Uh, okay, this is a problem. Uh. Well, would you look at this? A Trabant wagon. A Trabant wagon. Look at that. What? What is that? Okay, ignition off. One Trabant wagon happily just minding its own business with a fuel tank full of nothing good. <laughs> okay, we're good. The color's amazing, though. Okay, we're good. All right, there we are. Let's see. Everything about this car screams sweet, merciful crap, I, I must admit. And you can take the whole back seat out of this thing and get some more space. I, I kind of like it. But I'm not sure if I can fuel it uh, very well. Get some oil. What's this? This is diesel. What's this? We'd have to do a side mix is what we'd have to do if we wanted to take it. How big is the, the gas tank on this? It's only 24 liters, that gas tank. What's in here now? Let me see. Oh, this has got something in it. What's this? Probably oil or alcohol. Maybe diesel. Let's see. It's never fuel. Yeah, diesel. Okay. That one's empty. Uh, that's just oil. So, if we wanted to make a mixture, we'd have to put...
like gas in there and then do a mix. But this is already, you know what I'll do actually? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put this engine in my car. We won't take the Trabant itself, but we'll take the engine. Until we find a decent bike, and we'll do that, even though that thing is really... Like, there might be a bike in here, I guess, but digging around in here is just always a scary proposition. And I don't see a bike, so... Ah, rabbit! Back to the car, back to the car, back to the car, back to the car! Go, 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 go! Get out of the way, rabbit! No! <laughs> Space rabbit! Screw you! Oh! Okay, we're alive. We're good. We're good. Okay, everybody good. Everybody's okay. Holy sugar, that was scary. Oh, see, I lollygagged for a moment too long. Now I got some real weight in the back of this thing. This is, this is pretty crazy. Holy jeez. All right. Ooh. Okay. So the only way I can ever see effectively. Um, fueling the bike is to pre-mix fuel so like you'd have to put it in like its own container because trying to mix it on the fly sucks because you can never get it full doing that and with only a five gallon tank or a five liter tank it's not going to last that long with a Trabant engine under it but like it's not going to be like I'll bet you only get about maybe a hundred kilometers out of that possibly but I like to do it, give it a shot. Like, I'm always about these things. I have to leave the poor Karens behind, but that's just sometimes the price you got to pay, you know? Sometimes Karens got to be left behind. There we go. And hopefully it doesn't autosave constantly when you're on the bike. Because that's annoying as all get out. Oh, it'd be great to pre-mix some fuel there, but, you know, we'll forget that for today. We'll try to find a bike and do it properly. We only got 10 kilometers to cover, I think. Yeah, 10, 10k to cover. Might as well finish it up and do it for the next episode, I guess. So hopefully the place we stop has the bike, so in the next episode I can just like bang, 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 put her together. I already got fuel in here I can use. If we can drain it into a jerry can and then, you know, set it up for, uh... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Set it up to be a 3% fuel mix of oil to gas. That'd be great. I'm surprised you don't find that mix laying around once in a while, because obviously people were driving Chabons. And you'd have no way of knowing mixing in your tank. Like you would never you would never know. Unless you mixed it separate. Eh. See, if I was designing a two-stroke car, I would design it uh, with literally an oil tank and a gas tank, and then it would like mix it together while it sprayed it. Hello, people? And that way, you can just have fill each tank with one of the other thing. But I'm interested to take a Trabant powered bicycle across the desert. I think that could be fun. Although I will miss the Karens. Both of them. But I do have the Trabant engine now, which is awesome. Look at this. This is, a be this is odd an oddly beautiful game. Like, it's really strange how attached I am to this world at this point. It's just like there's so much like like my YouTube channel exploded because of this game. Like I owe so much to this stupid game. And it's I never thought I'd be so happy to play a game. But I love it. I love this game. This is a lot of fun, this game. Like someone commented the other day. They were like, Oh, why do you play this? It's so boring. And I was like, Well, people really seem to like it though. Like they actually really enjoy watching it. And he's right to he's right to his opinion, that's fine. But at least base it on fact. Like I had quite a few views on this stuff. So, you know, you don't have to like it, but don't act like nobody else does. And if you don't, okay, I'll give you a bit of advice, too, as somebody who does YouTube a little bit. You know, not as good as some people. Like, if you don't like something, don't leave a comment. You look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> you just look like an idiot when you don't like something and you leave a comment. Like, if, you, if it's like a, say, like of a political nature and you want to debate the politics, that's different. But if you just go to a video like, oh, I hated this video. Like, there's a thumbs down button. Otherwise, you're just going to cause a fight. And for what reason? Someone's going to call you out. Especially if you got like a bigger YouTuber like Markiplier or somebody, like his fans will call you out. Then you're just in a, in, a, in a pointless word battle. What's the point of that? And just so you know, trolling's never funny. You can act, people can act like it is. It's never funny to make people upset for no reason. And as you get older, you realize how stupid that is. And you actually feel bad about it because I used to do it when I was younger. You know, just purposely make people angry. 
when you get older, you start, it starts to bother you that you did that stuff. So don't do it when you're younger. I used to purposely make teachers angry in school, and I'll tell you, I regret doing it now. I'm sure they regret having me. Oh god, oh goodness. Oh god, this is too fast. Well, this is good. The, the brakes aren't working again, and uh, we're just going to go down this hill. Sweet. Well, it's kind of bleeding off a little bit of speed. Okay, here we go. Fast speed downhill. You don't want to hit a bump. Yep, here we go. Oh, God, this is so scary when those brakes don't work. All my tires look decent, though. I don't understand what the problem is. Ugh. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh, okay. This is sorry. I'm not talking as much because I'm nervous. This car just spins out so easily. It makes me upset. I gotta concentrate. Ugh. You know what's weird about this game too? Anybody who's played it enough can tell you. You can feel it losing control long before it looks like you're losing control. Like you know it's about to go out of whack. Like right here, it's gonna go to if I don't slow down a bit. There it is. <laughs> Caught it. Ugh. Oh, this again. The side of the road. Jeez. Well, what's this? Is this the sun coming up? What is that line in the sky? All right. Come on. Oh, 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 oh okay. That was a strange one. That was a strange one. Not sure what happened there. Look how big rock. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. The grass looks blue at night. It's weird. It's ice grass. Northern ice grass. Of the great peninsula of 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 the Arctic. All right. Yeah, this is good. Oh, what was that? Okay. I'm starting to see things that aren't there. This is this is the type of thing that happens when you play a game too much. I gotta take a break from this game. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well if you made it this far in the video. I usually try to save it now for later in the video, because you know the the real fans that uh, that watch all the way through. You guys. You guys, there's a little, little bit of a uh, pick-me-up right near the, uh, the Terminator of a video. Hello, gas station. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Please don't, don't, don't. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Yeah, now I remember why I gave up the, uh, I gave up this car because of how it bounces when it hits the side of the road. That's exactly why. Now I remember. I now have clarification. Oh, we're past where we need to be. 56.4, right? Yeah, it's 50. so right there is exactly where we need. That's 50. So now we just got to go a little bit further. Er, further? -er. It's all blue right now because of that moon. That's lovely. Blue moon. Let me snap. Okay. Uh, oh, yep. Here we go. It's going to spin. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. man. This game is so nerve wracking sometimes. This is like. Like, you know, they watch people play these first-person shooters, like when they get down those battle royales, you know, and there's like two of them left and they're stalking each other trying to figure who's going to make the mistake first. Yeah, this is this game, except your other player is the environment in the car, and it's trying to kill you the entire time you're playing. And it's just, it's scary. It's like driving an old Dodge Viper. It's just trying to kill you the entire time you're driving the damn thing. It's great. It's literally great. No ABS. No uh, traction control systems. No airbags. Good times. This thing is trying to kill me. Oh, God. We're going to go off the road here. Here we go. Right to that big rock. No, we're good. Okay, just just, just gingerly by this part. Yep, okay. This is good. This is good. Ah, there we go. Whoop. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's... A, oh, God. Ooh. God, I'm not even touching my, like, I'm not even touching my accelerator. Like, it's that bad. Okay, just relax, relax. Okay, okay. Okay, I need a place to stop because my nerves are shot driving this thing. Completely shot. <laughs> just gone. They've lost it. I'm done for the day. I need a spot to stop. Please don't kill me now. I don't like to die often. Okay. Is my second least favorite thing to do. 
Here we go. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, it'd be nice if there's a bike here, but that's okay if there isn't. Wait a minute. Did I stop at this the last time I stopped? Huh. I put this here like this. I'm gonna turn the ignition off. We're gonna sleep until daytime. Oh, that's better. And we're gonna check how far we've gone. There we go. Come on, daytime. Daytime! Oh, this is much nicer. Much nicer. Okay. How far? We needed 56.4. We went 61. So that's uh, 3.6. No, wait a minute. What did I say? 56.4? It's 3.6. 4.6 kilometers further? All right, no problem. All right, good. So I'm going to end this episode here once I get this gasoline in my car. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe get your friends to subscribe. If I get one more subscriber between now and the next video, I will do the bike with the trouble. engine because that's what i want to do what's this this is just diesel all right so you know, okay where was that this is more diesel all right so i'm getting distracted i gotta stop yeah so thank you again so much for watching if you like this please comment subscribe blah 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 blah, blah. and if you didn't well you should probably find yourself a real youtuber because i'm not much of one thank you again so much for watching love every view i get scapegoat Out.